the episode opens with Kanisha going through a bunch of portals running around in a loop. The screen shows Kanisha calls. The screen switches to Aunt Stella on the couch and Nabuyusha is comforting her. Nabu saw what I say Yusha. Nobu saw what don't worry, she'll be fine. And Stella well her makeup is running. I know she's a mortal and has all these powers and I'm supposed to trust her judgment, but she's only 13 and I want to protect her. Make sure she doesn't have to take this responsibility on her own. Melanie, while looking at the windows of the living room, it's my fault. If I hadn't learned to control my emotions, then the agents wouldn't have come after so soon. Number someone. Get someone you. That may be true to some degree, but worrying and blaming yourself isn't helping. All we can do is be supportive and hold on to our love for Kanisha's friends, crush, and family. So what do you say? And still, I'm with you. And how are you so level-headed? And Stella and Nabosawa hug each other. The screen shows Kanisha waking up to hear her voices. Kanisha, don't worry, guys. I'll be back, so everything will be fine. The screen shows Melanie touching her heart, and Stella looks at Melanie. What happened? Melanie, I feel warm. Kanisha is telling us she'll be back. No, Busawa, we are making her worry. Let's stop crying. And Stella, yeah, looks at her watch. I have modeling today. I need to fix my makeup. And Stella runs upstairs. You two can visit anytime, and Melanie, keep me updated. Number so. Okay, Melanie. And I will. Tana is in the kitchen. Tanana. You should know, Melanie, that since you won both the mistress and Kanisha over, I'll cut you some slack. But that doesn't mean I trust you 100%. Melanie. That's fair. I still don't know how to feel about me from the past versus how I feel now. Come on, number so. What? Do I have any homework? Tanana. Number someone, Melanie walks out the door.